Hello, I'm Jill Wyoskowski, a librarian at Caroline Kennedy Library, and this is an episode of Branch Out. If you're like most folks, chances are you have a favorite author, or maybe you're just in a reading rut, reading everything by one author until you've caught up. Branch Out will profile the writing styles of popular authors and help you, the reader, branch out by finding authors with similar styles and themes. In this episode, we'll take a look at James Patterson. Let's get started. James Patterson began his career writing fast-paced, single-title, and series suspense novels, but he now publishes multiple series for adults in genres as diverse as crime thrillers, suspense, science fiction, historical fiction, and even romance, not to mention books for teens, younger readers, and a handful of adult nonfiction pieces. Whether writing edge-of-one-seat novels of hard-edged suspense or heartwarming tales of romance and relationships, he captivates male and female readers alike with sympathetic characters, short chapters, and compelling maze-like plots. Let's profile Patterson's style so that we can branch out. Patterson writes all over the map genre-wise. I'll focus on his most popular genres mystery, suspense, and thrillers. In book speak, genre is just another way of defining the type of book. Patterson's storylines can be best described as plot-driven. Events, rather than characters, propel his stories forward. Fast-paced or page-turner are two terms that we can use to describe the pace of Patterson's books. Tone is the feeling that a book evokes in the reader. In many cases, this category best answers the question, what are you in the mood for? Patterson's books can best be described as suspenseful, which range in intensity from subtle psychological unease to nail-biting suspense. These books keep readers on edge. And last but not least, even perhaps the most important, the characters and the stories. If the character doesn't grab you, the reader, the book will be tossed aside and you'll move on to something else. The characters in Patterson's books can be described as culturally diverse. Characters from racial and ethnic minorities in the United States, Europe, Canada, or Australia, as well as characters from non-white cultural groups living in other parts of the world. Now that we've profiled James Patterson's writing style, we'll be able to find other authors with similar styles. I'll introduce you to John Sandford, Greg Isles, and Jonathan Kellerman. Let's meet your next favorite author. John Sandford. He stands out for his consistent delivery of riveting characters and intense, richly layered plots in his Prey series, Kid series, and his standalone novels. Crime drives his stories, whether his heroes are the ones solving or the ones committing the crime. Intricate details and graphic violence lend a gritty realism to the tone of these books while maintaining a fast, suspenseful pace. Quirky characters and witty dialogue relieve the tension. Sanford's good guys and bad guys alike are intriguing, complex, and realistically flawed. Greg Isles his style is tightly plotted in fast-paced suspense novels, which frequently come with a twist ending. A heads up, his first two novels are driven by latter-day Nazis and Cold War intrigue. His later work is set in the present, sometimes including hints of Southern Gothic. If you're interested, try starting with The Quiet Game. Jonathan Kellerman his best-selling mystery series features Alex Delaware, a psychologist and consultant to the Los Angeles Police Department who uses his understanding of psychological motivations of the villains to solve cases. Kellerman's bleak and threatening L.A. plays an important role, as do the psychological details of mental illnesses and their treatment. Keller has written other standalone and series mysteries, often in collaboration with family members. If you're interested, try starting with When the Bow Breaks. John Sanford, Greg Isles, and Jonathan Kellerman are available in our digital collection via Libby or Overdrive. You can access books by these authors by visiting our digital collections via the link on your screen. When you're at our site, click on Electronic Resources. To borrow any books from these authors or place reserves, you'll just need your library card and the four-digit pen associated with your card. If you need help getting into your digital library account, 
you can contact us via our website or directly at dhreference at gmail.com. We're happy to help. I'm Jill Wyoskowski with Caroline Kennedy Library. Stay connected with us at dhcl.mishlibrary.org and on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and here on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in.